New at 6, there are growing calls to increase access to marijuana in Maryland for both recreational and medicinal uses, but those calls are being met with very public resistance. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is in Annapolis. Uh, Brad, uh, we know this is an emotional issue for some people. Well, it's a hugely emotional issue on both sides. Some are saying this could really negatively affect our society. And we're also hearing from people who say access to marijuana for them is a matter of life and death. He was a happy boy. He loved life. Cheryl Myers, two and a half year old son, Gavin, died last November from a severe form of epilepsy. She believes his life could have been extended with medical marijuana. Um, he passed away, but there's still many children that could benefit from it, and that's why I'm here today. Here today in a packed Maryland Senate committee room with a diverse crowd of people for and against the relaxation of marijuana laws. One bill before the committee would decriminalize the use of marijuana, making it subject only to a fine. Another would legalize tax and regulate recreational use, as in Colorado, and a third would make medical pot more readily available for people like Meyer. All we've succeeded in doing with marijuana prohibition is building up the power of the drug gangs and organized crime. Montgomery County Senator Jamin Raskin is pushing for the legalization of marijuana. He says too many people are getting career crushing criminal records. It's a view shared by pot advocate Dexter Heinenen. I don't feel like it's correct for people to be being arrested for, you know, puffing on a joint. On the opposite side, law enforcement. Dozens of Maryland chiefs of police and sheriffs gathered in Annapolis to speak out against the marijuana bills. We're asking for problems. Polls show just under half of Marylanders now support legalizing marijuana. We sampled opinion in Greenbelt today and heard both sides. I think they should legalize marijuana because it actually, I think it will reduce crime rates. It causes you to do silly things. It's just not good for you and it's not good for our youth. Now, State House odds makers we've spoken to in here, legislators tell us that there is very little chance that a legalization bill will get through the legislature. Slightly more of a chance for decriminalization sometime soon, and a good chance that the medical marijuana laws will be liberalized. In Annapolis, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.